the American Revolutionary War secured the United States its independence. But at what cost? After eight long years of fighting, many states found themselves crippled with debt. Former soldiers from the now disbanded Continental Army were still owed wages and were unable to make ends meet. Tensions came to a head in 1786 with Shays' Rebellion, a bloody civil insurrection. Daniel Shays had been a captain in the Continental Army and had fought valiantly. His family owned over 250 acres of land in the Massachusetts Bay Area. But with the economy in tatters, Shays was forced to sell over half his land to pay debts. He laid the blame squarely on the state government of Massachusetts, which aggressively pursued taxes. This hit farmers in the western portion of the state especially hard. Having borrowed money to grow grain to feed the Continental Army during the war, a tax hike felt like a personal affront. Unable to pay, many lost their farms to foreclosures. Others faced imprisonment. Resentment was growing. Determined to force change, Shays rallied around 1,500 angry farmers and unpaid soldiers in protest. They called themselves the Regulators. And in the summer of 1786, they occupied several courthouses around Massachusetts, closing them down and preventing any further debt collection or imprisonment. With no national army, the Massachusetts government called on Benjamin Lincoln, a former officer in the Continental Army, to quash the rebellion. Lincoln was able to recruit several thousand militiamen, paid for by merchants from Boston, who were sympathetic to the government's plight. Shays' regulators needed weapons to stand a chance. So in January 1787, they attempted to rob a federal armory in Springfield, which was guarded by state militia. In the ensuing battle, four regulators were killed and 20 wounded. When Benjamin Lincoln's men arrived in the region, the outcome was all but inevitable. It was over. The government hanged just two ringleaders and pardoned the vast majority of the rebels, including Shays himself. They also decided to cut taxes and gave farmers and soldiers more time to pay off their debts. Daniel Shays and his followers may have lost the battle, but ultimately, their actions forced the Massachusetts government to listen to the little man, 